Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. It is mid-August and so far I've had a really productive season with growing vegetables in my own backyard and so I'm really excited to start harvesting some of my food. Now I'm in zone 5b and our harvest usually starts around this time of the year all the way into late September. So this is the beginning of a real nice harvest. So let me take you over to my bell peppers and let's start harvesting those. So this particular plant has a lot of bell peppers on it and I could probably keep them on the plant in order for the peppers to turn yellow but I want to make sure that I am allowing some of the energy to go into some of the newer bell peppers so I'm going to go ahead and harvest this one right here. This is it's a good size. And green bell peppers are kind of like the, the uh, incomplete bell peppers before they turn yellow or, or orange. But in this particular case, as you can see, I have a cluster of bell peppers. And in order to get energy into some of these other bell peppers, like right here, here, as you can see, there's one here. Look at this, just a cluster of bell peppers. Here's some more. I really need to try to get some of the bigger ones harvest just so I can make sure that um, I can get the energy into some of the smaller bell pepper plants. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this one here. There. And I have many other bell peppers that are As you can see, I have a lot of little bell peppers that are coming up. So um, I want to make sure that I can get energy going into those peppers. I also have this particular bell pepper plant. And you can see I have a lot of bell peppers on this one too. And again, I would like to keep them on here long enough in order for this particular bell pepper to turn orange. But I have too many bell peppers right now and I want to make sure that as you can see look at that just tons of bell peppers so I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the bigger ones so that I can get some of these um, other ones growing Let's see there's another one right there and these are all just look at that just tons of bell peppers over here so I don't want to take off any of the little ones so I'll probably give that a little more time to grow okay so I want to show you my moringas that I'm growing they're doing really good I'm really excited about that I have strawberries that are ready to be harvested and unfortunately I have to keep these belt these strawberries covered because th they will go fast if I don't harvest them so I have this cluster of strawberries right here in the corner and I'm gonna go ahead and harvest those if I don't harvest them um, the critters will find them and eat them and so I only have this corner over here but I have a lot of little ones that are coming up on the top as you can see so as we continue I have um, my cucumbers that needs to be harvested this one's ready to be harvested so I'll go ahead and cut this one that's a nice size and I have another one that needs to be harvested they do like to hide here's another one that is ready to be harvested 
And as you can see, I have some baby cucumbers right here that's coming up. And I have another one here coming up. And I have more baby cucumbers right here. So the cucumbers are, here's another one right here. There's another one right there. So the cucumbers are coming in. And again, I'm growing these vertically. And then, as you can see, I have quite a bit of cucumbers coming in here. So I have this one right here. And um, there's one right here. So I'm really excited to see that um, there's quite a bit of cucumbers now coming to fruition. My tomatoes have just went nuts. So let me go ahead and start harvesting my tomatoes. Wow, look at this, just tons of tomatoes turning red. As a matter of fact, they just come right off. I don't even have to cut them. Look at that, they just come right off. Look at that, isn't that awesome? And um, I have more over here. Just, this is really exciting. They're, they're starting to turn red. And these are Again, I do not want to fight with critters. I do not want to fight with insects. I want to be able to know that I can come in, pick my tomatoes by ripen without having to pick them premature, keep the critters from getting at them. So I'm just, this is just incredible. I just love this. Just leave them on the vine. Pick. and they're just coming right off. I don't even have to cut them. Oh, there's just so many pepper tomatoes. This is exciting. Oh, look at this cluster over here. Look at this cluster right here. Look at this. Just a cluster of red tomatoes. This is awesome. And this is mid-August. And you can see all the green tomatoes that I still have on this plant. And as you can see, I have more tomatoes that are just starting to turn red. But when you are able to keep your tomatoes covered, there's no urgency to try to pull them off before the critters get to them because you're keeping them protected under a mesh covering. So I wanna just kind of show you what I do to avoid the tomato harm worms, avoid the tobacco harm worms, whatever region you're in. I have problems with rabbits. I have problems with crows. I have problems with squirrels. I don't want to fight with them. And I'm not ready to share my food. Those who put a lot of love, time, and energy in gardening understands that there's a lot of work that goes in to ensuring that you have a good harvest. So as a result of it, I was able to pick my tomatoes vine ripen and not have to worry about any critter, critters getting to my tomatoes. And those that are just blushed a little, turning a little orange or yellow, I'm not gonna rush to pull them off the vine and let them uh, ripen in my home. I wanna just be able to make sure they're vine ripen. So the way I do this is putting a mesh covering 
over my tomato plants. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So in this particular case, what I did is I have the tomato cages, but I also have these bamboo sticks as stakes. And I just take this covering, it's a mesh covering, and I put it over my tomato plants like this. As you see, I have it covered. There's a string at the bottom of the mesh covering that I tie to kind of secure it at the bottom. And therefore, I'll shake the tomato plants, give it a little shake to appear that the wind's blowing or there's beads on the tomatoes allowing it to move and jiggle a little to try to increase pollination. But other than that, there you have it. So I'm going to continue harvesting more of my tomatoes. I got some over here that I want to harvest and they just pull off so beautifully. You can tell they are truly buying ripen. So there you have it. My real first harvest of the season. And I'm really excited that everything is just growing really well. And I also have my carrots right here. And again, I have a covering over my carrots. Same purpose, just to try to keep them protected. And so here's my first harvest of the season. First week of August, and I got bell peppers, cucumbers, and Baxter cherry tomatoes. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit the like button.